show. But first, there was some sad news last week for REM fans, because Bill Berry, the band's drummer, decided to leave after 18 years. Our colleagues in America caught up with REM, including Bill Berry, to discuss where they go from here. Will you live to 83? Will you ever welcome me? Well, when you don't have the enthusiasm that for 17 years I've managed to have, matched with these guys, you know, you need to make a change. And that's maybe for their sake more than mine, but I'm going to benefit from it also. When did you realize that enthusiasm was lacking this time? It was four months ago, last week. No, I don't, you know, it was a, it's a process. It was just, you know, I didn't wake up one day and decide, you know, I just can't stand these guys anymore. It was just, I feel like I'm ready for a life change. I'm still young enough that I can do something else. I've been pounding the tub since I was nine years old. I'm ready to do something else. Pounding the tub? Pounding the tubs. The tubs look out. How did it feel when Bill told you that he wanted to leave? <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, we were like, we were speechless, you know. It's, um, it's been a long, it's been a, we've, we've done something that um, a lot of bands, I think, would, would love to have done, which is to maintain a friendship and a really great career uh, for 17 years. And, and for him to say, I don't want to do it any longer, you know, it really, um, it, it really, we were less speechless. The first thing that Bill said to us was, if my leaving breaks up the band, I'm not going to leave. But we don't want him to stay and be miserable, you know? It's, I mean, if, if he's not enjoying doing it anymore, then he shouldn't do it. And we support his decision to leave, as, as sad as it is. But, you know, I think it's, it's a very, it's a strangely positive thing. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely what he wants. Peter, you said it wasn't 100% a surprise that Bill wanted to leave. Is that true? And did you try to talk him out of it? Bill has mentioned that he's maybe not enjoying some of the the things that go on around the music as much as you know as we have in the past the, the endless touring and the not that it's been endless but you know the fact that it seems endless in the middle of it um, interviews you know um, videos you know just just there's a lot of things that go along with this that can get really stressful and if you're not enjoying yourself musically it makes it worse I I could see it coming in the next few few years maybe. Um, I had no clue that it was going to be three weeks ago. I mean, the three of us, Mike and Michael and myself, had been on the phone and we're really excited about you know, where we're going musically. And we, we have tapes of songs we've written. And I, I was so excited about getting to the rehearsal that I couldn't sleep for the, the two nights previous. I was really excited. And, and Bill just said, well, I don't want to do this anymore. And you can't try to talk someone out of that if, if it's what they feel. And over the three weeks, I think we've come to terms with the fact that Bill really feels that. He's, he's done with it for now. And that's a decision we respect. Is this a sad moment for you guys? Very much so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What sort of emotions, Bill, do you take with you as you leave? Regrets? You wish you could stay on? I wish it wasn't me. I wish there was maybe one of these other guys that was going to do this first. I feel, I feel horrible about it. But it's what I feel in my heart. And I feel like it's the fair thing to, for these guys anyway. I just don't want to go in there and work at 50% capacity when everybody else is at 100%. I mean, I've made a lot of records. I know what it takes. I know it takes a lot of inner metal, and I need to be there 100%. If I'm not, I'm not contributing the way I should.